Hey guys, <clears throat> Mark Perash with ProTech Dog Training. <clears throat> I'm going to start tracking with red, put a foundation on them for tracking so I can get them placed towards uh, search and rescue or something like that, law enforcement. He's got a great nature to him. His temperament's excellent for a trauma dog, therapy, whatever, a firehouse. But if I teach him to track, then they've got one other thing they can do with him, maybe get him going towards tracking uh, children, etc. So this is just our foundation. I'm going to do right now what's called the tracking box. So that's what you see out here is a patch of green. So I'm going to jump out here and then start my buy. I've got nothing but twigs right now because i got no flags. I'm going to go buy Home Depot and buy myself some sprinkler flags is all you're using, right? So then I'll start my definition from that and that'll be my line and my start. And I'm just going to use these twigs for my definition on the box, right? One man, one man that finds my corner. It's a little bit big, but that's all right. I'm going to start getting, uh... All right, so I'm going to start getting some, uh... Definition. This is a little large, but that's all right. This way here. Hopefully, you can see this side of it. I'm not sure where your camera view is at. And now I've got hot dogs. So I started out by putting a lot of hot dogs in a box. And now, after the third day or so, I'm going to start doing what's called a domino, which is a five domino, right? Four corners and one in the center, and then a few other spots. But man, I'm going to start my domino effect which is going to start getting the dog used to pattern whether you realize it or not because when you do foot stop tracking you're going one two and you, it's every every foot and then you start spacing it and if you use pattern the dog picks up on that you can start getting him to understand that there is a pattern and then draw off of that as far as your training you can break the pattern later so i'm going to put three or four of them in this corner i've got two boxes today already one's been set over there i'm showing you this one then I'm gonna come to this corner, three or four pieces. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other corner and then I'll put some in the center and I'm gonna scuff it up. I call it a scuff box, they call it a tracking box, but I call it a scuff box because that's kind of what you're doing. You're scuffing the area, right? All right, so then I'll put some in this corner and then I'm gonna start defining the center. So I don't care if I'm in here because he's learning that it's scuffed, right? So I can step everywhere in here. As long as my outline and the outside edge is very definitive, because the dog is going to start learning from association. He goes outside of the box, he won't smell any disturbed soil, disturbed ground. There's my center. One, two, three, three, four. I'm gonna, and then I'll put a couple in here and I'll break the pattern on the five domino, but I'm going to pull it back to being exact on the five and make the box a little smaller. As time goes along, and I'll take my time. I'm not in any hurry. I think uh, David Croy does a good job of explaining all this, but the biggest thing that he always says is that it's time in. In other words, multiple times. How many times you do it, so that's what will make you a successful tracking. Thousands of tracks will add up to having success because the dog learns with your help on his own. You're not teaching him something he doesn't know. Dogs have a nose. All you're doing is defining the parameters, criteria you're after with the animal and doing it in such a way that the animal learns what you want him to do. But the dog, you, you talk, the dog, you're not teaching the dog how to track, guys. The dog has that in him, right? And that's the way it is. So I'm trying to get him right now to understand that it's the scuff mark that, and that disturbed, real heavy disturbance that's where the food's at. And he'll figure it out and he'll start the, uh, he's just learning with, um, uh, his self-discovery. So this is a good example of self-discovery. He goes outside of that box and there's no disturbance out here, right? So because of that, he goes, wait a minute, he smells that and he comes back in and smells this. He starts to put two and two together. And that's what you're after, right? Okay, I don't have as many hot dogs in here. We're gonna find out how it goes. First couple boxes I did with him, I loaded. So I have no idea how he's gonna do with this. We're gonna find out real quick. We'll go ahead and 
and then we'll start straight line out of this once I feel the dog has the basic understanding of this, which is a matter of reading your animal and then getting a feel for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump out of my box. Wind is coming that way. So I'm gonna jump out of the box the other way. And it's not really wind, it's just a very light, light read. So I'm gonna go out this way. As I start my tracks, it will end up being uh, into the wind so that the scent's being covered to his nose. All right, so I'm going to pause this. We're going to come back. All right, guys, so we're going to start with, with uh, red. Down, down. Good. Now, I am by no means an expert at this. I know just enough about this to be dangerous. So a lot of this on film will be some mistakes, but I will be going to get help from people that I do respect that have a lot of knowledge. Right now, talk about this when we get done. Red, red. Sook, good, Sook, good. That's my boy, good, Sook, yeah. Good. We want the dog, good, Sook, yeah. The lion with his own discovery. goes out of the box it's not a bad thing he's learning through association and self-discovery on his own trying to keep him here I'm trying to keep him into it I probably just could have put more out there you can have good days and bad days right now his nose is taking him where he wants to go he's not that heavy heavy into the hot dogs there'll be days that he is that heavy into the hot dogs Soup. Good. Soup. Yeah. Soup. he has no association yet guys in other words I've only done this two days he is just now learning so it's a matter of just repetition repetition There's no flags. Good, good. That's my boy. Good. That's my boy. Good boy. Good. <laughs> yeah, you're the hot dog. I've scuffed this pretty heavy, so that being the case, he's going to shoot up good runners of nothing and then inside the box, right? So this could be, I've got two boxes set up. I'm going to go over and do another box. The other one's going to have a lot more age on it. It was the first box I set up. 